We're going to move on to problems four and five, which are one point each. Use the following answer choices. We've given the options A through E, but we want to know the first step in the mechanism of acid catalyzed dehydration of 2 methyl 2 propanol. Okay, so let's start drawing out our reaction. First off, we can nitpick our meet key points. We know that we're starting off with 2 methyl 2 propanol. That looks like a T butyl group with an alcohol substituted. So we can do our T butyl group right there. And then we end up with an OH at the 2 position there too. And now we want to know about the reaction, what's going on. We have acid catalyzed dehydration. Acid catalyzed means we have this H plus, this acid that's doing most of this reaction for us. And we're dehydrating or we're losing water in the process. Okay, so let's draw this out on our first step. So we have the overall reaction. H plus is our reagent and we have water leaving. Okay, so let's, first thing we should do is protonate our most electronegative atom over here, this oxygen, because it has its lone pairs. That tells us it's really the only mechanism we can do. Carbons don't have any spare electrons to, to grab this proton. So we grab that and we make water in our next step. Let's drop this out, and we have this new water molecule next to it, and that takes up the positive charge. If your reagents had a positive charge, then your product's going to have a positive charge. Now on to the next step, which is the H2 leaving, the minus H2O, and this is a good leaving group, so the carbon will donate its electron to water. So it can leave and form H2O on its own, along with the carbocation, which would have a positive charge now. And that is our overall reaction. So now we want to know what the first step is. The steps of a mechanism correlate to the arrows here. So this arrow right here is one step, and this arrow over here is one step. So we have first step one and step two. So the first step thing, the first thing we did was protonate this alcohol. Remember that an H plus is the same thing as a proton, because if you looked at the hydrogen atom, which has protons and neutrons, that electron that's floating around it is lost. So now we're stuck with just the proton and neutron, and that's a net positive charge. So this is basically the same thing as a proton in the nucleus. So we call that protonation, which is the same as B on the t uh, in our options. So the protonation of the hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl groups are alcohol groups. It's just another name for it if they're branched and not the priority in naming. You'll go more into that in OCHEM 2. But for now, our answer here is B, and we can move on to 5, and we're wondering what is the slow rate determining step of this mechanism. So let's draw out our activation curve. If you remember, this is the same activation curve that corresponds to an E1 and SN2 mechanism. So if we drew this out, we have two steps, which means we're going to have two bumps. We're going to go from low energy to high energy. We have one bump and two bump. So this is the same as step one and step two. The arrows will tell you exactly like that. So if we, if you wanted to look, this step right here leads to that, and this leads to that. So this is really protonation, this bump right here, and this is the D hydration. Now, if you looked at that, this space right here would be the intermediate, and that corresponds to what we drew in, in between our two mechanisms. So this molecule up here with the w water on the carbon, this is the intermediate as well. 
So now we want to know which one of these is the rate determining step or the slowest step. The slowest step will be the one with the bigger bump or the higher activation energy. Just like this right here in step two. This is only adding a proton, so that'll be less energy than losing a, a leaving group. And since we lose that, this is way more takes way more energy, and that's going to be our rate determining step, which is the same as C, or our loss of water to form a carbocation, which is the second arrow below. So we can say our answer is C because it has a higher activation energy or more energy to produce that step.